Hello and welcome back to part 3 of this series on how to create your first game in Copper Cube. My name is 3 d Mr. Tutorials. So in the first part, if you haven't watched that part, you need to go to my YouTube channel and check out that video. If you don't know what's going on here, just to get the follow up, okay? The first part, I showed you how to import your capsule, how to uh, put movement on your capsule, that is your character. The second part, I showed you how to create this awesome uh, follow along. Uh, camera is just a basic 3d third person camera i added to the capsule okay as you can see i played around with the parameters and so on now it's following the character perfectly i'm quite happy with that so in this video this walkthrough i'm gonna show you how to uh, add a character an enemy character okay and i'm gonna make that character detect the player and chase the player wherever the player is going okay after this video, I'm going to show you how to make that character uh, take away health from the player and also make the player shoot in the same sense. Okay, so you need to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here to follow up on the series. If you haven't followed the series and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you whenever I upload the next part of the series. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this um, capsule of the player. Okay, let me just move the platform a little bit to the front. Let the player be far away from me as you can see there. Okay, we want the player to have a radius. Okay, I'm going to show you. But uh, let's just um, rotate the player in the 90. Okay, I think it's 180 in the y-axis. Just to rotate the character so the character can point face me. Okay, the, the player. My name is 3D Mr. Tutorials and I'm showing you how to create your first basic game in Copper Cube. This is going to be a series. You need to subscribe to follow the series. Okay, guys. So, um, I'm showing you how to create an enemy. This is part 3 of the series. I'm rotating the character now. Just duplicate it, clone the character player into an enemy a capsule. Okay, I'm going to go to the materials in the hierarchy. Attributes, materials. And I'm going to swap out the materials. I'm just going to choose the green material. Okay, so that we can know which is the player and which is the enemy. Right, there we have it. You have your enemy here. We have your enemy standing there facing your player. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Okay, as you all know, if you don't know, whenever you put behaviors and actions on a, a component and you copy that component, all the properties also goes with that other component. Okay, so you need to go into the hierarchy, go to behaviors, and we just need to delete all of this uh, awesome actions and behaviors. Okay, so we can start over. But I'm going to leave the collider because since we're going to use uh, the, the, the capsule as an enemy, this capsule needs a collider to collide with um, obstacles in the scene, even with a character if we're going to put the health and uh, a health uh, detection trigger on the character. Okay, so we're going to uh, choose the game actor with health, okay? And we're going to put it on a still, stand still. We're not gonna put it as player because this is the enemy. Just gonna put the player on a patrol stand still. Okay? You can play around with the movement and all of that. But for now, I'm gonna leave it at 20. Because 50 is a bit too fast. You need to change the tags. Okay? I needed to do this before I started this tutorial. But I'm gonna just rename it to player. Okay? That is the, that is the attack actor which the enemy is going to attack. If, the, if that uh, component has a tag player, it's going to attack that component, okay? That is what's going to happen there. The tags is, is, is necessary, guys, because nothing's going to happen if you don't put tags. I'm going to show you before I, I compile the, the, the game. Let me just rename them. This is obviously the player. Right? You have the player. I'm gonna go to the capsule two. That is gonna be enemy. Lowercase. The same as the tags. You can't rename the tags differently. You need, you need to rename them the same. Okay. Next, you're going to put the actor as the tag as actor in the enemy. Because it is the enemy. Okay. And it's going to detect the player tag. We can leave all the other parameters as such. Leave that as default. Don't scratch that. Okay. 
Now let's see how it works out. There I wanted to show you nothing's gonna happen because we still need to activate the player so that the enemy can detect the player's tag as player. As 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 now as for now the the tag is not added to the player character. That is most now me. Okay, so let let's just go back to Copper Cube. Okay, close the close out the game and I'm going to go to the hierarchy. I'm gonna click on the player. Go to the hierarchy behaviors. Game actor with health. And we're going to we need to add game actor with health at the player also. Gonna put it the is put the player. That is the tag guys. Okay. And we also gonna put no leave the speed because we already have a character controller. We are just going to add the tags. That's all we need to do here. Yeah? Okay, this tag is going to be player. We need to rename it as player. This is going to be the enemy, the enemy tag. Okay. Let's name it enemy. And this is going to be the player. Just get the keyboard, on screen keyboard, because my keyboard, some of the keys don't work. I'm sorry, man. Okay, we're gonna name this as player. I need to buy me a new keyboard. I'm gonna put the radius on 300, just to make sure that... There you go. As you can see, they picked up the player. <laughs> Oops, I fell down. Let's move the camera to the front of it. There you go. The actor is chasing the cat. Um, enemy is chasing the player. Sorry, as you can see there. Now you have a character chasing you. And as soon as the character detects you in the 300 radius, it detects you and it will chase you. Okay. That is the tutorial guys, if it was helpful please smack that like button, if it's your first time here, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you whenever I upload the next part of the series. I'm showing you how to start your own PC game, we are gonna swap out the capsules and I'm gonna put the character, 3D character in that capsule, so you need to subscribe guys, this game, the, this, the game walkthrough is gonna become very, very stable and uh, helpful for you guys. Okay, my name is Trinimus Tutorials. I hope I see you in the next part where I'm going to make the character shoot the enemy and the enemy take some health away from the player.